والصلاه والسلام على رسول الله وعلى اله وصحبه ومن والاه اما بعد um, we praise allah subhanahu wa ta'ala peace and blessings and salutation upon the prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so to my dear brothers and sisters in islam so the reason why i'm talking i just want to explain and you know clarify some some things about islam you know and to my fellow muslims um, uh, male and female out there because um i think some of us or some of the uh, muslim brothers or sisters they misunderstood you know the concept of islam um they're talking about we all know and like for those that are living in america we all know what's going on right now with the black community like oh let's say okay you know in the entire world so um all started you know because of you know the man that you know killed by the police which is uh i think george floyd uh, that's his name if i'm not mistaken so now I think um, I saw something uh, somebody saying, uh, okay, talking about the Muslim, like the way they react, you know, reacted to the um, to the death of that uh, that uh, man, the black man. Okay, now we have to know one thing. Of course, like Islam does not allow us to make dua for a non-Muslim when they die, when they pass away. Of course, we're not gonna say Allah, 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 Allah what this what that so we not we don't make dua for them thus allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stop us from making dua to the non-muslim if they die we all know that so when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala command us to stop we stop we, 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 we stop right there but now let me ask you we have to we have to know one thing also islam is about what justice islam is about peace and love Islam is about being kind and care about people. So why do you think, like during the like you know um, Jahiliya time, like we are the, 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 like the arrogant people, like during their time, what they used to do, like you know, all the strong men survive. The men will survive. Women, you know, women will survive. You know, they they used to kill their you know, their, their daughters, you know, to bury their daughters, like you know, alive. So Islam came to stop all that. Islam came to give like humanity, the, everyone, you know, their rights. So this is Islam. So now if Islam came to do that, so we have to know one thing. So people are not like, you know, we, of, of course, we're not going to make dua for the, you know, for them, for the non-Muslim. But subhanAllah, I don't act like, I don't care who you are. I don't care like if you white or black or yellow or green or purple or red no one deserves to die like this no one no one deserves to die like this you have to know one thing what did allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the quran now you know we already explained you know the the, the 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 islam side of it we don't make dua for them but i think you can it's like sympathy like you can't control it this is like a like human nature like when you see something you know disgusting see something and disturbing you can control yourself you may even cry you don't know because like some people like they're very emotional, like, you know, they're very, you know, they're, they're very, they have like, you know, soft heart. So they can cry. I'm not going to lie to you. When I saw this video, like it, it really affected me. I can't do nothing. SubhanAllah, like, you know, the man is begging for his life. I can't breathe. You know, my stomach hurts. My, my neck, you know, I need water. He end up, you know, he like, he end up like calling his mom. So. Like, it's not only about, like, you know, uh, 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 being a black or no. No one, even white people, no one deserves to die the way he died. No one deserves that. So now, okay, if you look at what, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Allah says, وَلَقَدْ كَرَّمْنَا بَنِي Adam. Bani Adam. He did not say, وَلَقَدْ كَرَّمْنَا مُسْلِمِينَ وَلَقَدْ كَرَّمْنَا مُؤْمِنِينَ He said, Bani Adam, all mankind. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, um, uh, in another verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give respect and honor to the, to, to the son of Adam. Right? That's number one, right? We have to know that. And he said to the Prophet, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ He did not say, إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْمُؤْمِنِ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْمُسْلِمِينَ لِلْعَالَمِينَ Now go and read and learn about the, the, the story of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. How he used to be kind to the non-Muslim. How he used to treat the non-Muslims. When the Prophet when he came to Medina, uh, to Mecca, Fatu Mecca, what did he say? If you enter in the house of uh, Abu Sufyan, Fa'anta Amin, you're free. And at that time, Abu Sufyan, he was not a Muslim. So he respect, he gave them respect. 
so this is like human nature like so we can if you are like if you are not you know disturbed by that video then check yourself maybe you have some jinn man we should read you know ruqya on you so like i say we don't make dua for them you know that's islam so this is the beautiness of islam because the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he explained you know in hajj in, in khutbah al wada so he explained when he explained everything about in that khutbah what did he say one of the things that he said he said there's no difference between black and white there's no difference between in arab and non-arab so there's no difference between us the only difference between us is taqwa Allah, the fearness of Allah, the consciousness of Allah. If I fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala more than you, then to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I'm better than you. So we we so we just like we don't know that only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows that. Inna akramakum inda Allah atqakum. So but who can know this? Somebody with Islam, with Iman. If you have Islam, then you understood, you know, the meaning of Islam. You will never, you know, you know, treat people based on their color. You will never do that. But if someone like they, they're not Muslim, they don't know Islam. So how can you explain that to them? But even being a Muslim, a non-Muslim brother or a non-Muslim person, non-Muslim, you know, man or woman, no one deserves to die like this. So like, like I said, we don't care. It doesn't matter who you are. You white, you black, you yellow. No one deserves to die like this. Even like when we sacrifice into Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when we slaughter our you know our animals, what did the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says? So you have to make sure that you know if you the, the, the animal that you slaughter, so you have to make sure that like, you do it like quickly, fast enough so that they won't even feel the pain. That's like an you know animal, right? That's not what animals so are. The Prophet you know, commanded you to make them when you slaughter your when you slaughter your animals, so make it quick and fast enough. So which means the knife should be very sharp. So make it quick and fast so that they will, you know, they will relax easily. So what do you think about you know Ibn Adam, the son of Adam? So no one deserves to die like this. You know, it's really, really painful. I know maybe some of you say, why are you talking about it? So Maybe some people don't understand. Some Muslim brothers or sisters they don't understand. They don't, they don't understand the concept of Islam, what Islam is about, and and so we stop in Islam. We stop when Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala says stop. We stop. But like you know, we feel bad when something happens. So this is Islam. He's not a Muslim, but we should feel bad about the way he died. No one deserves to die like that. So Inshallah, this is you know the advice I, I want to give. So Wallahi. You know, um, you know, as a human being, you should, Allah, no one should, when you see that video, like, you should really, it's, the video, like, it should disturb you, no matter what, because of, like, I don't know how to explain it, man, you already, you already saw the video out there, so I don't need to explain nothing about that video, so, uh, all what we say, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, give us iman, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide the people to Islam, because Islam will teach you how to behave, how to be nice, how to be kind to people, you know, if anybody, if you call yourself Muslim and you're not kind to the people, you don't know how to be nice to people, and like you don't have like, you know, like mercy, you don't have like, you know, respect and, and, and honor to the people, then you have to learn more about Islam because Islam will 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 change your life, you know, like totally. Islam will change your life differently. So Islam is the only religion that will show you, you know, like um show you how to be kind to people. So we all know that about Islam. So if you, and if you see any Muslim brother out there killing people or like insulting people or doing stuff, he did he or she did not she did not underst understood the meaning of Islam. هذا والله تعالى أعلى وأعلم وصل الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين.